So uh, a topic that comes up from time to time is about about men who've, who've lost their uh, their sex drive and their libido from uh, from 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 alcohol. You know, they've been a you know a chronic drinker for a while, and uh, you know and they've noticed that their sex drive's gone down, and and uh, you know feels like their testosterone is lower, and and they're asking for help. So. So what I want to say this is, uh, um, you know, first, you know, thanks for being so open. You know, I know that's a difficult thing to share and admit about, but, um, you know, you can absolutely turn it around. You can absolutely, um, I know what it's like to have low testosterone and, uh, you know, and was able to turn it around myself. So you can do that. So first of all, let's take a look at why alcohol may be lowering your testosterone and your sex drive and your libido. Your libido, your sex drive has a lot to do with your testosterone levels. So if you have low testosterone, you're probably going to have lower sex drive as well. Um, but alcohol, you remember getting whiskey dick, I'm sure, you know, where it's just like, you know, you can, you're not fully hard or maybe you are fully hard, but you know, you can just go for hours. Why? Because you're desensitized. You know, you've been drinking so much that you got that whiskey dick and you either have a real hard time getting it up or if you do, you know, you're usually not full all the way and you can just go for a long time pounding. Um, and in some ways that was great. You know, if you were on a date with someone and you wanted to press, yeah, I'm the man, I can go for as long as I want now. Some ways it would be very embarrassing because you wouldn't, you know, be able to get it up at all. And the reason why that happens is because um, the alcohol numbs us and we get desensitized. And so over time, you know, as being a, a chronic drinker, then uh, what happens is your brain form, your brain's always forming new neural connections to match what, you know, you're doing on a regular basis. New neural connections can get developed that, um, um, you know, about, um, you know, it's almost kind of like an anxiety, you know, that it, it may all be a lot in your head, but it, it's just developed new neural connections that, you know, you're, you have difficulty give it, getting it up. Um, and, uh, and so that, you know, that in itself, you've created these pathways that, you know, can create this like permanent, like anxiety, per sexual performance anxiety before you get, you know, before you go into action. Now, alcohol, I remember I read a study one time, and I'll have to find it um, and post it in here. I'll post it in the description when I do find it. But it was about how even just having um, just one drink of alcohol, like just one beer, lowered your testosterone levels for up to, up to three days. And, um, um, and increase your estrogen levels uh, as well. And there's a, um, uh, there's a chemical that's created when you, when you drink the alcohol. I can't remember what it is. I should have done a little bit more research on the chemical names. I'm not a scientist or anything like that. But, uh, but what happens is that this chemical basically um, uh, prohibits your body from producing as much testosterone and instead produces more estrogen. And it turns... What it does is it utilizes the food sources and everything to create more fat in your body. And so if you're, if you're drinking, you know, on a regular basis, a chronic alcoholic drinking regular, then, um, yeah, you know, you're going to have lower testosterone. You know, it's not, alcohol is not a, a magic bullet for increasing your testosterone. It's a, alcohol is a poison. It's a toxin. So yeah, you know, over time it is going to do some damage, but fortunately the human body is very resilient, you know, and you can turn it around. Now we live in a generation in the day and age where testosterone is at an all time low amongst men. Um, you know, most men, even without drinking or anything, even just living a complete sober life have, you know, very low testosterone and that has to do with um, you know, just the world we live in between the diet that most people eat, the standard American, you know, diet of, you know, cheeseburger and french fries and junk food, um, and exposures to toxins, like toxins from plastics and, and heavy metals and things like that, that, you know, play a, a big, a big, big role on our, on our sexual organs, our organs and especially our sexual organs. And so with that being said, when you throw alcohol into the mix as well, being a chronic daily alcoholic, drinking on a regular basis, then yeah, you know, that's gonna... You know, that's just going to be fuel for the fire and in, in keeping your testosterone low. And a lot of times that'll create like a snowball effect because for men, one of the keys to having a, a happy and a healthy life is having a healthy testosterone levels, having healthy hormones. Um, and, uh, um, uh, and so if you're, if all of a sudden you're, you're living a lifestyle, drinking alcohol and, you know, and eating junk food on top of eating alcohol, which is causing you to have lower testosterone, then that's going to spiral into feeding your addiction for more alcohol because you're mentally, you're going to feel more depressed. You're not going to feel as happy with your life. 
and, uh, um, and you're going to seek out ways to avoid the pain and get pleasure, alcohol. And so that's why it can be dangerous as your testosterone is going well while drinking because it's like a, you know, a perfect storm for getting you to come back drinking more. Ah, right, you know, now you're depressed. Now you're this. And so as you, but the good news is as you let go of alcohol, then your body is going to begin to heal itself. And so I, like I always recommend to everybody, you know, when they're quitting alcohol to change their lifestyle, you want to transfer that addiction. And I write one of the best things to transfer to is exercise. You know, when you quit alcohol, make it a, a goal to start exercising every day. And exercise is one of the simplest ways to begin your, to increase your testosterone. A lot of studies out there have shown that, um, you know, exercise, especially when it comes to strength training, training lifting heavy things, putting heavy things down, high resistance training, sprints, uh, more primal type of exercises, sandbags, CrossFit type workouts are going to help to increase your testosterone level. So I highly recommend, even if you're way out of shape, just do even five minutes a day. Everybody can do five minutes a day. Start with what you can do, even if it's just one minute a day, 10 minutes a day. Something is always better than nothing. So as you're quitting the alcohol, you're bringing in the working out, eating healthier. What you're going to see over time as your body heals itself, your testosterone levels are going to increase and then your sex drive is gonna begin to come back. Now, it may be more difficult for some people just depending on how much damage they did to their body, but like I said before, the human body is extremely um, resilient. Fortunately, we can do a lot of damage to our body and still have the ability to turn it, turn it around. So if you've gone you know, several months now, exercise, you've quit alcohol completely, you're exercising, you're eating right, and you're still, you know, your testosterone is very low, then I would recommend to go talk to your doctor and see, um, you know, maybe get some blood tests done to see more of what is going on. But from my experience and people that I've worked with that, you know, when you quit alcohol, um, within usually about a month, they start to notice an increase, in, increasing in their, uh, in, their, in their sex drive, which usually means that their testosterone levels are starting to come up. So with that being said, guys, if you have any um, uh, stories to share about, um, you know, loss of libido or testosterone from alcohol and, or, or testimonials and how you turned it around, then please comment below and share about this to help other men. I know this can be a sensitive subject to talk about, but, um, you know, it's, it's okay. You know, so with that being said, guys, hope you have a great day, great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life. See ya.